Hey, what's up, everybody? You already know what time it is. <laughs> it is the ambassador, an American ambassador. We run on Duncan. And so your Duncan Minute, your Duncan Talk, this is the extended version again. Uh, never be a prisoner of your past. It was just a lesson, not a life sentence. I don't know who that's for, but I know it's for somebody that's watching me. Because many of us have gone through situations and circumstances and instances in our past that have somehow tried to hold us hostage. That situation has come to try to hold us not only hostage, but captive and, and behind a emotional prison, a psychological prison, sometimes a spiritual sp uh, prison, and, and, and we're stuck serving a life sentence over something that was just meant to be an experience to help us to become who we are to be on the face of the earth. See, there's something on the inside of you that those past experiences come to develop, to mature you, so that you catapult into being who you really were created to be. Listen, there are experiences that if I share with you guys, this Duncan talk would last from now till next week, Friday. But I realized that my experiences that I have gone through, good, bad, or indifferent, only came to make me who I am today. And that's your ambassador. You wouldn't know an ambassador if I didn't go through a situation like losing a biological mother at an early age. And how that emotionally had me held back and captivated because everybody else that I went to junior high school and high school with had a mother and I didn't. But I realized that that situation was not to hold me prisoner, but it was to help give me an experience of what losses is in life and how you can bounce back even after a loss. Cause see, a loss in life is not a loss of life. Wow, I just said something right there. Whatever you do, don't you allow your past to hold you prisoner. I don't care if it's a relationship. I don't care if it was a financial bankruptcy. I don't care if it was losing a home. I don't care if it was losing a loved one. I don't care if it was if it was a family reunion that turned out really bad. Everybody started fighting, throwing food. Listen, whatever the past has brought you, don't stay stuck. Whatever you do, Keep moving. I, 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 I had a friend one time, and I'm going to let you go after this, who said to me one time, he said to me, he said, Johnson, I, I, I'm going through. And I said, what did you say? He said, Johnson, I'm going through. And while he was talking, something in my good ear, this ear right here is it's the right ear. It looks like the left ear to you, but it's really the right ear. Something said to me, tell him, going through beats being stuck any day because at least when you're going through there's some movement <laughs> see many of you that are talking to me that are listening to me right now that I'm talking to you're either in one of three places of life you're either getting ready to go through a storm you're either in a storm or you just come out of a storm but at any rate you're still mo moving there's still some mobilization. There's still some life lessons that have been learned and you move on because your past cannot hold you prisoner because it's not a life sentence. It was just there to teach you. And when you become teachable, you will see you will grow faster. You will graduate and you will be promoted where it is that you've been intended to be. I love you. Talk to you guys later. Have a great and amazing weekend. And whatever you do, don't you get stuck this weekend. Keep moving.